Hi, I'm Jim Martin. This video is about how to write a shooting script or an editing script for a documentary film. Uh, a, a shooting script can look anything and look like this. This is a more detailed one. It has multiple columns uh, and you can put in all the information that you need besides picture and audio. You can put in actual photos or illustrations to show what you want. We're going to do something simple to start off with today. Uh, so depending on the subject and style of filming, a script for a documentary or a nonfiction film may take a number of forms and be in varying degrees of detail. If the subject about to be documented is predictable in a particular environment or demonstrates a routine, a script should be written to, co to get coverage in three areas. Now coverage is all the material you're going to need to edit. So that coverage should include action, interviews, and B-roll. Uh, for example, suppose we were going to do something on a restaurant owner. Uh, if we had a chance, we'd go to that restaurant, we'd uh, talk to the owner, we'd get a feel for the place, uh, so that we could come back, sit down, and decide how we want to tell that story about that restaurant and that owner. That's what would go into a shooting script. Those, those details, those ideas, they're kind of a, a shopping list, if you will, or even a wish list, because not everything is going to be um, doable. You're, this is something that, that you're seeing, and new things may pop up and that you want to do. And if the event is unpredictable, then your shooting script is more of a, an idea how you want to cover it, how you would like to tell the story based on the information that you have available. That can change. So let's take a look at how we could, would format a shooting script. We're going to do that in Microsoft Word. All right. And once you're in Word, as you can see here, we have the everything set up. And we're going to kind of just do something like this shooting script on the other on the right hand side of the screen. So let's go up here to the uh, table function. All right. And that's up here. Table. And we're going to do insert, not draw, insert table. And you'll see it pop up here on the screen below when we get it. We only need four columns for this illustration. So we'll make four. The number of rows is variable. We'll start out with, say, uh, just six rows. And what happens is if you need more rows, you can just go to the tab func tabs key and the last cell of the um, table hit the tab key and you'll get another row. So if you look here, we do have uh, the basic table put in there with four columns. Let's size them to the needs we have. You just simply click on it, move it over to the size you want. All right, we can move this guy over a little bit if we want to make it a certain size. Uh, now we want to we want to make another smaller row we can do it here or we can come up here and do make their rows up here if you do that and you'll notice that the um, whole the whole size of the table shrinks when you do that so just come here and bring it back out to the margin if that happens all right so the um, top is going to be our titles for each of the columns and I would like to make them bold and italic uh, let's say we're going to make them blue uh, and we're using Helvetica 12 point. That's all OK. And the other thing I want to do is I want them to be centered. So I'll center them. The first column is shot. The second column is um, picture. The third column is time, the time of the, each shot. And the last one is audio. Now, if you'd like to, um, if you'd like to, to take and uh, make sure that everything in these columns is centered, you could do that. Just go up here, center it. Everything in here is is basically you can format it any way you want, but basically uh, we'll center these two things so that what we put in there comes out in the center. 
These other columns I'm going to leave open because we may change things around in there and we want it to just be left. So shot one. Shot one, I'm going to just basically do the same um, copy that we have on the right here so you can see how it would be put together. Close up, farm, farmer's face. The time we're going to say, and this is a guesstimate, there's no particular um, thing that you need to stick to this. You're probably going to get a lot more footage of the than five seconds, but we're looking for five seconds in the um, in the shooting script so that, to edit with. The audio, in this case, we want ambient sound. Just a reminder for us to, that we would get some wild sound out there. And then essentially we're thinking with the farmer's face, we would just have some voiceover uh, from an interview. So that's our first shot. If you notice, it wraps, the text wraps here in this cell and comes down. The other neat thing is, and why we use the table function for this shooting script, rather than just trying to set up some columns, um, is that every all the cells will stay uh, parallel with each other. So that no matter how many spaces you put in here, if I put another space, notice, Everything still stays parallel, but we're going to just leave it like it is that, like that. Um, let's just pull this up here a little bit so that it doesn't, uh, so that we can still see everything on the page here. Uh, shot two. This shot two is the long shot. We'll say with a long shot, uh, farmer walking toward. The barn. Sometimes we use a little bit of shorthand in here. It doesn't have to be perfect sentences, but we'll say long shot farmer walking towards the barn is the next thing that we pre-visualize in this in this story, how we'd like to tell it um, going out there so we know what kind of footage we're going to be looking for. And in this one, again, there's more ambient sound, maybe of his walking. And then the um, voiceover from the interview continues, giving you a little more detail in this version. Uh, three is another is a medium shot this time we're looking for. And so now the director, everybody knows what we're looking for what kind of shots we need to cut together in editing. Uh, so we have a shopping list in this, in this uh, shooting script. We get them now right at the, right, you know, at work where the dairy cows are. And I'd like to uh, make sure we, we remember that we're going to super all right, we're going to super uh, his name uh, in lower third. All right, so we have that. This shot's going to be a little longer. We'll say it's 10 seconds. Just again, this is an estimate. And in this one, we say interview continues. But this time we're saying the interview continues with the answer with the answer uh, to why why did you become a dairy farmer so now we have a specific question we'd like to get into this. All right, and uh, we'll put a quote there. All right, so that's our the same three shots we have over here. If you needed a fourth shot, of course, 
you would go here. If you had a fifth shot and you got to the end of that fifth shot and you said, wow, I just ran out of rows, what do I do? Well, you simply hit the tab key on your keyboard. Bada bing, bada boom, you have another row. And you can keep doing that forever uh, for as many rows as you need. So that's basically your shooting script, all right? And that's um, pretty much how you would go about doing, getting it all down and kind of scoping out how the kind of coverage you, you wanted, the kind of story you wanted to tell. Now, once you got back to, to your uh, studio or wherever in the editing room, you would want to do, you would log all the footage, you would look at it, you would make some kind of assessment of what you had, and you would do an editing script. Now, an editing script is essentially uh, the same format as a shooting script, only now you kind of know what footage you have. You've logged it, you know what he said now. Before, you just were putting down the questions or kind of guessing or whatever. So in this case, we're going to still start out. We like that, that beginning, and that's going to work. And we have, from our interview, uh, as this farmer maybe is just you know looking down at something he's doing, uh, we see his face, we see you know he's got that weathered look out there, and he says, well, I, and you hear voice over, well, I never really thought about it. Uh, my father was a dairy farmer, and so was his father. And maybe he continues on into the next shot while he's walking. I guess it just runs in the family. Now, if there were some uhs and ahs and stuff like that in between here, you could cut them out because you're cutting to a different shot. Uh, I guess it just runs in the family. Now, 2A and 2B here are B-roll. B-roll that helps you tell the story. B-roll that makes sense. We have a close-up of a tractor. Uh, and he still maybe walk and, and we still hear him walking. Uh, we have a close-up of him now opening the gate to where the cows are uh, and um, we hear that gate open and then the third shot uh, is right there with him by the cows uh, and this time it sinks down we see him and he's saying uh, we have a hundred cows this we have a hundred cows at this time and that's the way it goes from there. So you would just keep filling in all the shots, all the stuff that you need, and this would give you, your editor, uh, a real blueprint for editing the film. Will every shot that you've kind of pre-visualized here in this editing script um, be doable? Maybe not. Sometimes you run into problems because it just doesn't cut right, it doesn't look right, or you don't have enough footage, something's wrong. Well, that's why you have B-roll. B-rolls in there to help you get around some of these problems, or you may have to change something else. But at least if you have an editing script, you can build your story and have somewhere you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And that's really what you want to show in your both your shooting script and your editing script, that your story has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you have a, a way of telling it uh, to start with. Things can change. Documentaries explore reality, so you might have... Um, any number of uh, things that happen. But this is a way to start and a way to write a shooting script and an editing script.